There's a wiener dog back there that wants to kill me. What? <laughs> All right, let's let's move. Gosh, good lord! Someone put him on a leash or something. Can I just say that leather jackets, boots, and like fall weather, like the leaves are changing. It's like my favorite time of the year. It's honestly the best. Today's video is going to be pretty simple and it's going to be straightforward. It's not a full on review, but it's going to be my thoughts and overall, I guess, review on the Canon 6D Mark II and why I think it's the best vlogging and best picture camera for those creators and vloggers. So if you're someone who wants to do this, and just create videos for YouTube, your blog, your website, whatever it may be, or for other people, the Canon 6D Mark II might be the best option for you. That rhymed. Ah, uh, that was weird. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Oh my gosh, I just walked down the bridge here, now there's two killer wiener dogs. What is going on? All right, like I said before, the Canon 6D Mark II might be the best, okay? In terms of those who want to create for YouTube, create videos for like everyday use and take photographs, this thing is perfect. I do have this camera body paired with the Canon Red Lens L Glass, the 16 to 35 2.8 version three. When you zoom in, it doesn't come out, it's like internal. Like, as I zoom in, you can totally tell. So let's talk about the 6D Mark II in terms of two things, video and photo, starting with video. When I'm creating YouTubes or client work or any of that, I look for two things in the video world. Can it do 24 frames a second in full HD and can it do 60 frames a second in full HD? 24 frames a second, like now that's pretty, that's a deal breaker for me and my work only because I like this look that I get out of the camera. Like it's not, robotic in, in my movement like I would get with 30 or 60 frames a second uh, even 25 you can kind of you can kind of tell that it's not 24 by the skipping of frames so 24 frames a second within this Canon 6D Mark II is perfect so if you do any YouTube creating if you want to vlog if you want to do client work if you want to do any kind of video and you want a cinematic look to your video this camera has 24 frames a second and it's gonna work Perfect. And the way that I use the 24 frames a second on the 6D Mark II is just like this. I just set it to 24. I do a flat picture profile. I don't really do anything. I want to have the best looking video and picture right in the camera with the lens right now as you see it so that I can do very little processing in post because I'm a creator. I want to just create content and just do it, like get it out there every single day and I'd have to worry about color correcting like to the perfect, to the T and I don't, I don't wanna, I'm like I'm not that nitpicky right now and I, I'm not big enough where I have an editor to do that for me, if, but for this sake I'm, I'm loving the picture and I'm loving the video that I'm getting out of this Canon 6D Mark II. When people say the color science on Canons are like perfect, this is what they mean. Like this is pretty much flat, I'm not doing, I'm not doing anything in post so in that regard, this body, the Canon 6D Mark II is perfect. And in terms of video, I look for the flip screen. This flip screen is everything to me. Now this is my opinion. Some people will say, hey, I don't need the flip screen, and that's fine, but for me, I like having my camera come out and then also looking at what I'm doing so that I can frame and compose my shot. And with that flip screen, I can also under and overexpose what I need to, so it's, perfect you know at that point I don't have to set my camera to automatic mode and rely on the camera to do the work for me with this flip screen I can set it to manual and adjust on the fly with the scrolly and this wheelie and this you know controls shutter speed and this controls aperture and for me that's all I need because if I'm on the fly and I have changing conditions I can easily change shutter speed I set I have this camera set to auto ISO and it's perfect. And with this flip out screen, you get the most intuitive screen and intuitive menu that Canon has to offer. The menu system on these cameras are very simple and they're very sensitive, meaning when you touch the screen, it's sensitive to your touch and you, when you hit it, you hit it. Like there's no missing it. It's another plus for using the Canon 6D Mark II. All right, let's quickly talk about photos. We'll move over here. That's why I think it's a perfect combination for creators like you and I, because we're not, only do we want really solid video on the video side, but we also want to take really good thumbnails and pictures in general for the IG. 
for Instagram, okay? And so the fact that I can switch from video to photo just like that, video to photo in a snap, and I can literally be taking photos and have some really good photos for the IG game. And again, I will say that this is gonna be contingent on pairing it with really solid red glass. So pairing the Canon 60 Mark II with red glass like this, like the 16 to 35 for pictures, not only will you get really good dynamic range, but you're gonna punch out a better and clearer picture. So if you want really stellar photos with the really stellar body, I would highly suggest getting the 60 Mark II and the 16 to 35 2.8 because you will yield better pictures and you will get better dynamic range within those pictures, making it more punchy and just the colors will be brighter and more in your face kind of a feel. I hope that makes sense because like that's how I feel like it does for my photos and I get a lot of compliments on my photos. People like my photos. I mean, I get hired to do photos so, and I use this. So that tells you something. Now, I will say though, for video, this is a light body. It, it really is for what it is. Now when you're pairing it with glass like I have on now, it gets really heavy, but for the most part, it is pretty light and it's portable. It's not too big, it's not over the top. Uh, it's not like a 5D Mark IV, but it will fit in side pockets of your camera bag or you know anywhere else you have room for. Sort of the main reason why I'm doing this video is because there are tons of cameras out there that do the exact same thing. Some might have better specs than other cameras, but I feel like the Canon 60 Mark II is highly overlooked. I think this camera body is highly overlooked for so many reasons. And like I stated before, my reasons are that I need cinematic look and 60 frames a second for slow-mo and good photo quality. And this camera does it all for me. You know, for me, it's not having the latest and greatest gear. I just want functional gear that's gonna help me create faster and do better videos, right? And create better videos. And I know the 60 Mark II does that for me. So overall, the Canon 60 Mark II gives you a lot of flexibility, gives you tons of creative freedom to do your work as a creator in both photo and video. And these are some of the biggest reasons as to why I choose this body for like my everyday camera, only because you know the options to have a cinematic look to my videos is very important, and then to slow down B-roll in 60 frames a second is also very important. Those two things, like those things have to be checked off in the box in order for me to buy a camera body in 2019. So in 2019, why I'm still using the Canon 60 Mark II, those are the reasons. Like this is exactly it. I'm shooting in 24 and I love it. And as far as price, this retails $17.99. You can get some of them cheaper, you know, with rebates, and you can get these camera bodies used between $1,000 and $1,200. Again, for me, it's about creating content daily and fast. It's not about the nitpicking, the small things and the specs and all of that. I just look for a couple of specs and I make sure it's got that flip out screen so that I can create on the fly and I can, you know, make sure that I'm centered and exposed properly. But again, guys, I want to remind you, it's not about the gear that you have, it's about the story that you have to tell. And that is all for today, guys. I just wanted to make this video to help you understand why I still use a Canon 60 Mark II, and I hope it helps you. Maybe you're wanting to upgrade from the Canon 80D or the Rebel series or whatever it may be from, you know, from a 5D Mark II, and you want to get into video, you want a camera body that does both photo and video. The 60 Mark II might be a great option for you. Like, this is the camera for you. And that's it for today's video, guys. Just a quick view into why I choose the Canon 60 Mark II in 2019 for both photo and video. And like always, keep on creating, and I'll catch you next time on the Johnny Q channel. Peace. Okay, now the exciting part is I get to go get a thumbnail with the Canon 60 Mark II. Woo! Peace. Actually, I, I can't just walk away. I just have to press stop.